we go to places to pick up winnings from online auctions. Um, but this week, I did not actually bid on anything to win. Um, it was all junk. It, it really, yeah, there really wasn't anything that just kind of screamed at me, by me. Plus, I'm trying to work through listing um, everything that I have been picking up the last couple months. I'm a little bit behind. So, um, anyway, so we... And we worked in the garage. We did work in the garage. It looks great. So, er, better. We got rid of a whole bunch better. of stuff, dropped it off at a thrift store, donated it, and so now we are headed out to a town a little further away that um, I don't typically get to to source there. Um, so I'm really hoping that I can find some cool stuff. Um, so I don't know how adventurous we'll get as far as like, what now? I think it's too close. Oh. Nobody wants to see your boogers. No, you don't. Um, I don't, I don't know how adventurous we'll get if we'll record in the store or not, but I'll try and show you guys what I got. Um, It's anything good, hopefully. But uh, we picked up Chick Fil A because we realized that we worked straight through lunch, and it's three o'clock, three forty-five, and we never ate. So <laughs> we're gonna eat our lunch whilst we drive to this town, and then we'll hop back on. Alrighty. Anything to say? Uh, also, we're going to Ace Hardware because Ace is the place. <laughs> and he has a gift card burning a hole in his pocket. So yeah, hopefully. I don't know, probably, if anything, I'll get some more charcoal than I need, but, uh, unless I have a cool tool. I think we've mentioned it before, but he is an avid, uh, griller slash smoker, and so, uh, he does usually at least one meal a week on the grill, um, sometimes more. Well, lately, yeah, because of the weather, I think, more, but, um, yeah, yeah definitely. I would love to do it at least three or four times a week. But. And I would love that too. He does a really good job. It's very rare for him to have a miss yeah. on the grills. So. Like yesterday. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, we made a meal for friends of ours who've been going through um, the, the wife's mother um, has been having um, health issues and it's taken up a lot of their time and I just felt like we should do something for them so so we made them dinner um, and I did I did two racks of ribs and it was fun and I was super like I don't want to say jealous I really <laughs> you wanted were jealous. I would I would have loved to eat the final product because um, <laughs> they looked great and uh, I was very excited about it but you know it was a good cook it was a nice day yesterday it wasn't windy and like mid 40s I think so uh, good cooking day and it was fun so that's what we did yesterday and Lori made mashed, sweet, mashed potatoes. sweet potatoes that were really yummy and then a some people may think yeah but these are amazing they were good uh, and then a spinach salad and then I made some oatmeal muffins so Which we a nice have. yummy winter meal yeah. comfort food so Anyway, so we're gonna get going and do that, and um, we will uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we find some good stuff. So we're gonna eat our lunch now because I'm starving. See ya. Two thousand years later. Okay. Hopefully they can see us. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, Do you okay. Want to talk about the. Oh, our passenger. Our passenger. <laughs> Who's our passenger? Who's our passenger? That's our littlest one. Yeah. Her name is Ella. Yeah. She loves to read she, all the time. She had to come along because her siblings are at a teen activity. Yep, they have a youth retreat with their youth group this weekend, so we're actually sitting outside our church waiting to pick them up, so. And it's dark, 
so hopefully the yeah. light is okay. Hopefully. <laughs> it's okay. I'll hopefully fix it. we're not all in I'll fix it Shadows. in post. I'll can make I it. talk? So mysterious. Mommy, can I talk? I thought you were reading. Do you want to show them the books that you found at the thrift store? I got Plants vs. Zombies. Yeah. You got more than that. What else did you get? Magic Treehouse, Junie B. Jones, and um, I got like oh the Holly Webb books. Yeah. Yeah. Like Misty, for example, Misty the abandoned kitten. Oh, that's so adorable. Poor kitten. Who would abandon her? I she know. She's so cute. She's so cute. I, when I have time, I'm going to read this and find out why she was abandoned. I know that that is a great idea. After she's done reading so, twelve other books that she's she... already reading. <laughs> no, that's going. I'm going to read all the Hob Holly Web books when I'm done with my Plants vs Zombies. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. She she used her own Christmas money to buy. Uh, those books. Yeah. Speaking of which, you should have her call Grandma so she can show we'll Grandma everything she got. Anyway, um, okay, so we went and got coffee because this is the Pick Up and Coffee Show. Um, and I don't want to spill it. <laughs> uh, I still have some of mine left. Um, they were a little distracted when they were taking our order, so they didn't really get it quite right. Um, but we were the only ones there. I know. I don't know. I don't know Wonder why. Man. I don't know why. They're very nice. But, yeah. What's it called again? So, Dopio Bunny. Dopio Bunny. Yeah. So, that. mine was good. I got a Cafe au lait, um, and he got a pour over, oh. and he didn't really like his pour over. So, so I guess they have two main uh, roasts that they do, a Brazilian and a Mexican. Mm-hmm. I got the Mexican, you got the Brazilian. Yeah. It was, um, I don't think they made it exactly as requested, uh, which is one thing. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. Not a fan. I, every time I've, I've been to that a few times, and I'm just not like, I'll go again. Yeah. But. Not our fave. Yeah. Not our fave. They do roast their own beans, though. Yeah. So and they make their own syrups. So that's cool. Yeah. Um. Um. And buff. Was it before that? What? The donut. Yeah, I got a donut. Oh yeah, yeah. she got a Cafe. donut from a bakery. Oh yeah. Yep. Bakery. And like, I got uh, to bring my little kitty. And oh, yeah, and that's that. another Christmas gift, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gift card. With your Amazon gift card, yeah. Um, Can't forget about that. What am I trying to say? Uh, we also went to a thrift store that I really like. They only do clothing and shoes and accessories, so no hard goods at all. Um, but the, their prices are very reasonable. So I did get a couple things there. Nothing astounding, but a few things. Um, yeah. And then, uh, and then we went to another thrift store that's much, much larger. But I really felt like they were kind of picked over. Um, I, I think a lot of thrift stores are because of Christmas. Yeah, but then yeah. the one that we dropped off our donations at, they were hopping. There were like three people when we got there dropping off stuff. Then we dropped off a ton of stuff. And then... Why did we do that? There was another like two people who oh, came right. while we were there. We cleaned our in our garage and we got rid of stuff. It was awesome. He feels awesome because we were productive today. Yeah. It was nice to not have to go out and do the pickup and just kind of process some things and clean out some things and stuff. So that was that was very nice. Yeah. Um anyway, so at that thrift store, I basically got stuff like for two bucks that'll sell for twenty. So nothing, you know, again, nothing astounding, nothing amazing, but just solid stuff that will sell Which so the Blue Ridge? yeah yeah oh, Blue Ridge. Yeah. yeah the other one had like if I if I had money there were some nice shirts for me yeah um that were not like Vineyard Vines and I mean I don't know brands I know what Vineyard Vines is but yeah some other nice looking shirts that I mm -hmm. that I would have liked to have but 
I didn't feel like spending the money at the time, so. Yeah. Um, yeah, they they the really do like four to ten dollars, depending. Right, yeah. they they take care to put um, good quality stuff it's out nice. on their yeah, shelves. It's, it's a, not it's, it's nice not junk shop. at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I like going in there, and they do they're very nicely curated. They are actually it's an arm of their charity, and they actually do really great things in the community. They provide free meals um, once a week in three different parts of Loudoun County, um, which is just awesome. And the oh, one tree of life. Yeah. The, yeah, the one in our little we're not really a town, our neighborhood. <laughs> we're, uh, uh, what do they call it? Population center or something like that center. yeah um we uh what am i trying to say oh the the one at our community center um this past week they served 115 meals which the number just keeps going up it when i first started tracking it it was like 60 meals a week and now it's just going up so wow. Yeah, 115 meals this week at our community center that they gave. So that's awesome. And then they provide like free English classes, which is very much needed in our community. Um, and just different stuff like that. So I love going to thrift stores like that, that directly impact our neighbors, basically. Instead of Goodwill where it's a little more murky who's being benefited from them. Well, they're a for-profit So, company. they really are. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, and then we went to Ace Hardware and he got his bag of charcoal with his gift card that he got for Christmas. Super exciting. Super exciting. Yeah. So, anyways, um, I think that's about it. It's kind of a boring video this week, but um, it's nice to have a little bit of a break from the crazy every once in a while uh we will be bidding on things to hopefully pick up next weekend so stay tuned next weekend um yeah yeah oh and next week's gonna be cold yeah it's gonna be that, super chilly polar vortex that's hitting polar the rest of the vortex. country is finally gonna get here yeah not as cold as some places i know uh kansas city where miami's playing tonight yeah the wind chill it's supposed to be like no, no I think even before the wind chill it's supposed to be minus 20 on the field oh goodness which I can't even <laughs> imagine playing football I I mean that's like dude you, you, could, you could break a finger and not even know it because you can't feel your finger well and how do you keep all your muscles warmed and they're, loose they're, I guess they just be moving constantly on the sideline. Ah, I mean, I got heaters and stuff, but still, it's true. Gonna be freezing cold. Man alive. We're not going to get those temperatures, but it'll definitely no. be a cold one. Be yeah. Like it's supposed to be in the, the 20s, the 20s and maybe in the teens, I think, maybe. Yeah. And we might get some snow this week. So. I didn't see any single digits on my forecast. But. No, but definitely in the teens. Yeah. So, finally, uh, really cold weather. Is it? Yeah. Winter. Good time. El Nino. Day two. All right. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Pick up and coffee show. Uh, if you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you next time.